Okay, we're going to actually start doing some JavaScript now. So we're going to get an introduction to JavaScript, looking at some basic IPO programs. It stands for Input, Process, Output. We'll get input from the user, do something with it, and output the results. But first, we're just going to do a simple Hello World program. That's the classic introductory um, program that you make when you're learning a new language. So JavaScript is actually a programming language. HTML and CSS were just markup and style languages but we needed to use learn those so that we could run our JavaScript in the web pages, okay? Because we're going to run our programs and use HTML and CSS as the, the GUI, the graphical user interface. Anyway, so we're going to learn uh, how to run JavaScript. We'll learn about the alert function and the developer tools. So let's get started. So I'm going to start a new project, right? Go to our F drive, the CS10 folder, and in here, let's create a new folder called hello world and I'm going to right click and open that with code or open Visual Studio Code and go open folder or drag the folder into the open area here it doesn't matter okay all sorts of release notes and welcome this is what I care about right hello world is my project folder we need to create an index.html as before right when we we're doing web pages um, sure, let's create a style.css, and here's the new file we're going to need. We're going to use a main.js. Sometimes it's called script.js. It doesn't matter. Kind of a basic main script.js. It's called a script as in the, the script for the program, right? The, the commands that it's going to run. Okay, so HTML, we know all about this. We know how to do our, our doc type HTML. We need a root element, we need a head element, we need a body element. Inside the head we can do a title, and I'm just going to say hello world. We'll link to our style sheet. Inside here we'll do an h1 that just says hello world. And we'll save that. Prettier formatted it nicely for me. Let's go live. And hopefully, ta-da, hello world. Let's do some basic styles, actually. I'd like to um, select the body, oops, body, and give it a width of like 600 pixels. Do the whole margin auto thing. And you know what, that should, and maybe a font family, font family. What's a nice base font? I actually like using this Apple system. It's a super long one, but I like it. I don't even know what it does. It's, it finds like a nice font on your system. Okay. Um, let's go here. There we go. Hello world. Let's add a little paragraph as well. Um, this is my first attempt at JavaScript. We haven't done any JavaScript yet, but here we go. All right. So in order to run JavaScript, we're going to write um, JavaScript commands in this file here, main.js. Okay. And we did a little introductory activity at the start of um, CS10 where you guys did the Star Wars thing, the code.org, right? And you had to do these commands, and it was like, move forward, turn left, blah, 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 right? So that's what we're doing here. We're going to enter commands into this main.js. Um, and the reason we have these three files, right, is HTML is the content and structure of the web page. Um, the CSS file is the style sheet, right? The styles of the web page, and the JavaScript is the the inter, um, the uh, what the website does, right? How you interact with the user. Okay, so it's good to separate these things together, um, and just like in our HTML, we link to the style sheet. We need to also tell the web page, right? When we open the HTML file in the browser we need to tell the browser, hey, run the JavaScript inside of main.js. Um, instead of linked, um, link, sorry, there's actually a script tag. And we're going to use this Emmet, um, the script with the source. Um, so it has an, an opening script tag and a closing script tag. And we're not going to do anything inside um, because we're going to give it a source, main.js. And by doing this script tag, it'll run whatever JavaScript commands we have in main.js. Which for now is nothing because we didn't do anything. 
All right, so here we go. Into JavaScript, here's our first JavaScript command. Um, the command is called alert. And um, whenever we execute JavaScript commands, we need to um, use parentheses, round brackets. And it's, a, it's not mandatory, but it's a good habit to end the command in a semicolon to kind of show the statement is done. It's like ending a sentence in a period. Alert function done. Now, the, uh, what the alert function does is it opens up an alert window and it displays whatever message we give it. And that's what these parentheses are for. We can pass a message inside of here. We need to put that message inside of quotations. You can do double quotes or single quotes. I'm going to do double quotes. And our message is going to be, hello, world, just like so. Okay, so I'm going to save this. And uh, you'll see now my program here is flashing at me saying, hey, look, hello, world. Okay, so that alert function opened this alert window, displayed my message, and I can click OK, and it goes away. All right, if I, every time I load the page, right, if I hit refresh, it'll run that, um, it'll see that, that script tag and it'll run whatever commands are in main.js right so we load the page the script tag says run main.js it does this alert function and then the page loads hello world this is my first attempt at javascript okay cool um, and then um, programming is sequential we did one alert command we could do another alert command with the message of this is javascript and again, a semicolon. We go back here. It says, hello world. This is JavaScript. All right. Um, I'd like you to try to do another alert function. Send, say, your own message. Say hello from whatever your name is or whatever you want to say. Um, and try to, to do something in here. Um, the last thing I wanted to show you in this video was when we right-click on the page and inspect, we can go to the tab here, to the console tab. If you can't see it, just click the arrows and it should should come up. And okay, it gave me some little warning here. Let's just, we can hit this clear, clear. Now this is, this is the console. And um, the console is a place where we can play around with JavaScript. We can actually type alert commands right here, right? Alert high, and it'll actually run the JavaScript commands in here. So this is a place where you can kind of play around with JavaScript. But more importantly, this is a place where error messages will show up. So for example, let's say I accidentally misspelled alert. Okay, I save this. I go here and it says hello world. But then, blah, right? It didn't do the, this is JavaScript. And it gave me this angry red text. And it says uncaught reference error. Alert is not defined. And it tells me it's in main.js line 2. Okay, main are just line two. And that one, I think, is the actual the character spot. But I usually just look at the line. Okay, so on line two, oh, I spelled it wrong. It should be alert. Right, and I go back in, hello world, this is JavaScript, everything worked now. <laughs> and it gave me an error, but this error has nothing to do with, okay, let's try that again. You'll see this error doesn't come up all the time. It has something to do with live server, I think. Anyway, refresh that, that was bad timing. Hello world, this is JavaScript, no error message. Just this weird error from a Chrome extension. Okay, anyway, no error message. Um, it would be something like this too, if I forgot the, the, the semicolon there. Actually, let's forget it on the first line. Let's see what kind of error message it gives me. Uncaught syntax error, invalid or unexpected token. So we talked about syntax is like the, the language rules, right? The rules for the language. Um, so it's like, hey, I, I expected you to, when you started a quotation, you're supposed to end the quotation, but I never, you never did. So fix it. Okay, so really important. I usually always program with my console open, just so that if error messages come up or something wrong, bad happens, you'll get an idea of what's wrong and you can check it out in the console. Okay, so we run JavaScript using that script tag in our HTML. Um, we learned about the alert function to display these messages and the developer tools or developer tools right click inspect go to the console um, useful for error messages right trouble troubleshoot 
your code, right? Say, what's going on? What's the problem? All right, that's your introduction to JavaScript. It's a small introduction, hello world, but uh, we will learn more. All right, hope that made sense. Take care, and we'll see you next video.